All right, so 2020, Advanced Deal 2020 has been released, and it's time to look at a feature that I think is going to help people create connections a whole lot faster. So um, inside the uh, 2020 release, there is a new tool to propagate or mass copy connections across your model. Um, very simple to use. Um, in this case, I've got a model. You can see I've got three different columns here, or three columns that are the same. This one's different. And on my floor here, I've got two 200 channels there, another 200 channel here, and a slightly different size channel here. So first of all, I come in and I grab my base plate connection, place it on the bottom of this column, and you can see it places the connection. While we're here, you'll notice the sidebar is bigger because now uh, with the, another enhancement on this version is the fact that the sidebar will now match the biggest size text in all the tabs, which is really, really good. Um, now, the idea is that you come and place all your connections. So, for example, you know, I'll come and place another shear plate here <clears throat> and we sit and now figure out how we're going to copy the connections. So normally I would sit and copy this connection to here, to here, and so on. What we're going to do now is you simply pick the joint box, you right click, and you now have a new option here to propagate joint. And this will go and take the current scenario of these connections um, and propagate it to every instance, or every visible instance that is exactly the same. So for example, if I right click and I say propagate joint, you can see these two columns have now had the same connection created on it, and this one has not. What it's also done is, is it's gone and created for you the master-slave connection. So you can see these are slaves. So this one here is a slave of that first connection. You can see we can upgrade to master at any point in time, meaning that if I come into here and change this connection, obviously, and let's go into here and say 500 by 500, you notice that all the connections change at the same time as each other. Same thing goes for here. So in this case, I right click, propagate joint. You can see it's um, propagated to these three, but not that one. Um, or in this case, I propagate, and you can see it propagates to all four. This tool, I think, is going to make a big, big difference in the way we model. Remember, it is only applicable to the visible elements um, inside the model. So if you want to restrict connections that you're propagating because maybe you want to create only master slaves, maybe per level of your structure, make sure you filter and hide objects accordingly. All right. Enjoy.